Okay, picking up again from where we left off, another little thing I wanted to talk about, and again, about the fact that you can edit and create your own CodeSmith templates if you have the CodeSmith tools. Um, one of the things that I noticed about this when I reviewed it was I didn't really like the way I used these guestbook prefixes on every field on the form for the label. The, the historical reason for that is once upon a time in the early days, all the features were built into the module portal web and they were all in the same resource file so I had prefixes to make it easier to find the feature specific name but later on you know the project evolved we moved those features out into separate projects and we created separate resource files for each feature but I never did update my CodeSmith template so what happens is it is still adding that prefix so I just want to look in here and figure out uh, where exactly I'm doing that and I guess See, it's this class name that we're adding here. Is the guestbook class name, and that's prefixing it. So, we watch the generated output. We'll see how it changed before. So, the config keys all have guest guestbook as a prefix. Now, if I go back to the template itself and I chop that out, because I really don't want that here. And now I run it again, and now you'll see that we just have, you know, more simple names. All right, wait, the real one, yeah, just the resource files guestbook, and that's correct. So I want to correct that back in my back in my form here too, which means I also have to correct my resource file. So I'm going to chop that guestbook part out because the resource file is named guestbook as it is, and it's just kind of redundant to have that in our resource label keys. And then I need to go back in here and do that same thing. And then I should rebuild to redeploy it. And then I should refresh my page. And it should work the same as before. And there, now we're back to a nice clean form. We got rid of our legend that we didn't need. Um, we got our labels lined up. We could tweak more in the CSS if we wanted to. We could probably reduce this margin if we wanted to. For now, let's see about getting some results on the page so that when we submit the form, we can see the, see the guestbook. So we're going to want to add that. For now, I think we'll add another panel in here. We don't want it inside our field set, so I think what we'll do is create a new panel. And in here, we want to have some kind of um, repeater or grid or something. I'm trying to remember if I have any helpful CodeSmith templates. We've got grid view, but that's a bit heavy. So I don't think I really want to do that. I think we'll just do it from scratch here. We'll add a repeater. Here we can have a header template, footer template, item template is the main one. Figure out later if we want to create a header. What do how do we want to render these results and kind of group them together? For now we'll just go with very simply just adding everything into this item template and we'll decide how to lay it out later. First we'll go ahead and set up our data binding. So in our code behind, we'll make a method to bind the results and basically what we want to do is get a list 
um, guest book. That should do it. <clears throat> so now we just need to call this method. Maybe we'll put it in a just not post back. Oh, it is post back. Another thing is we probably want to we, we haven't created our an edit page yet, so we may just want to comment that out. And also it's kind of hard coded from the generator over here. We want to get rid of that. And now we'll build. And if we go back to our browser, we ought to be in the refresh and see the previous guestbook submission. And there you can see it's not very well formatted. Oh, I must have even made a typo when I typed it. Um, but we do now have results on the page and if we submit another one And we'll submit, and they're, and they're all just kind of jumbling together. Uh, we've got the, looks like the newest one for, first. I don't even think we set a sort in our procedure. We need to fix that in an upgrade script. I'm going to end this clip now. We'll pick up again in the next.